Accounts Payable now has two methods of printing the checks and selecting which checkbook those invoices in Accounts Payable are going to go to. The first demonstration I'm going to show you is the system that has no AP remit tender activity. Nothing here at all. So I'm going to go ahead and close that. And that information came from the tender AP remit tender and there's nothing here. So we have all these invoices here and what we're going to do is we're going to pay them. Now you'll notice on every invoice line the remit tender is unassigned. If we drill down there's nothing there to assign. So every one of these things are unassigned. So if I go ahead and say I want to pay all, this will make every one of these checks ready to be processed. So I select process paid and here are my four checks. You'll notice they're all under the unassigned because there is no remit tenders for it. We can change the checkbook if we wish. I only have one checkbook here. But if you had multiple checkbooks, you can select of that batch what checkbook that's going to. So if everything is good, we're going to hit Process, Preview. And what it does is it sends the individual remittance advice for each one of those checks. And we'll close. So now if we close this and go to our accounting and to our checkbook, under our print checks, you see two of them because that was the only two vendors uh, that we paid. So these were the three individual payments, three invoices, and Cleveland Range had two invoices. So that's how we pay using the uh, tender agent as unassigned. Now in my second company, I have set up the AP remit tenders. And I've set up a Huntington ACH, a checkbook for charge cards, that's for the American Express charge cards that uh, we use to pay our vendors, our Huntington regular checks, and our key bank checks, and our PNC checks. So these have all been set up. If we go ahead and say edit that, you'll see that it's the name I've given it, that it is a check, what is the checkbook, and what GL account, and whether or not I'm going to email payment information or do not send to print queue, meaning the check printing queue. Okay, so that's set up in this second company. So now if I look at my individual invoices, there are four separate invoices or four separate vendors. Each one of those under the remit tender has Huntington checking. If I needed to, I could always drill down and make another one go to the key bank checking if I wanted to and leave the rest of them Huntington. So every one of these things on remit tender I've set up for Huntington checking. So when I say I want to go ahead and process paid and I go to my Huntington, here are my four invoices that are going to the Huntington remit to. This part here is ignored completely because our remit tender is telling it the proper checkbook to go to. So if everything is good here, we click Process, Preview, and we get these remittance advices. Close, close. If we go now to our accounting and to the checkbook, we have to select the Huntington checkbook and you can see 
in under the print checks we have the ones that we just did plus some previous ones so this is how the remit tender lets you pre-set up specific checkbooks you want invoices to be paid from and they won't be paid from the wrong account or if you use unassigned they'll then be paid from a specific checkbook at the time you're doing the processing paid.